$4,500 for social security recipients. This is not a drill. Up to $4,500 in additional social security benefits could be coming your way. And this includes SSI, SSDI, Veteran Affairs, Railroad Retirement Disability, and all fixed income beneficiaries. That's right. The program that we've all come to rely on is undergoing some major changes and these new rules could mean thousands more in your pocket. But here's the catch. You have to know what's happening to make the most out of it. Well, this is not something you want to miss. So grab your coffee, sit tight and let's break it all down. And Trust me, you'll want to watch until the very end because what I'm about to share will not only affect retirees but also those of you still years away from retirement. Whether you're working, collecting benefits or planning for the future, these changes and new rules could change your life. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So let's start with the good news everyone is talking about. Social security benefits are increasing. I know that you're thinking 2.5% is the number that we have seen. Well, that doesn't sound like much, right? But hold on. Because while this may be the smallest cost of living adjustment or COLA in years, it comes with a silver lining. Inflation is finally easing. That means your groceries, gas and utility bills might not be draining your wallet like they did over the past couple of years. So while the raise may seem modest, the reduced cost of living could leave you with more breathing room than you expect. Now you must be thinking that 2.5 number is just a joke and there's no way you can live on that 2.5% increase. But remember the administration is changing. We all know the inflation is here and the numbers doesn't make any sense but stay with me till the end because I'm going to tell you something very important at the end of this video which will shock you. So moving on with the video, here's where it gets interesting. If you're someone who's been working while collecting social security, the earnings test limit is increasing in 2025. You can earn up to $23,400, up from $22,320 in 2024, before having any of your benefits withheld. That's an extra $1,080 of wiggle room to bring in some income without penalties. But if you're reaching full retirement age in 2025, hold on to your seat because your limit is even higher. $62,160. Imagine being able to work, earn and still collect most if not all of your benefits. And don't worry, if you exceed those limits, the money withheld isn't gone forever. It gets added back to your checks once you hit full retirement age. This is why it's so important to understand these new rules. Knowing them could mean maximizing your income even in retirement. But we're just getting started. Let's talk about Social Security's wage gap. Now, this is where things get a little controversial. In 2025, means a month from now, the wage gap is rising to $176,100, up from $168,600 in 2024. For those of you earning more than that, you will not pay Social Security taxes on the income above the cap. So if you're making $200,000 a year, about $23,900 of your income will be tax free when it comes to social security. Sounds like a win, right? But here's the flip side. Some lawmakers are pushing to eliminate the wage cap entirely. That would mean higher earners paying taxes on every single dollar they make. Whether that happens or not in 2025's higher cap means more taxable income and 
potentially higher future benefits. Now let's shift gears to something a lot of you might not think about work credits to qualify for social security benefits you need 40 credits throughout your working life in 2025 each work credit will require you to earn $1,810 up from $1,730 in 2024 that means to earn your full four credits for the year you'll need to make at least $7,240 for full-time workers, this might not seem like a big deal, but if you are part-time working gigs or freelancing, this could impact how quickly you can rack up those credits. It's another reason why staying informed is crucial. Now, before I move forward, I would like to ask you something very important. There's one very important proposal from Bernie Sanders calling for a $2,400 yearly increase in social security benefits. And would you like to see the $200 monthly increase that translates to $2,400 yearly? And do you think that it will solve a number of your problems? If you do, then write in the comment section, I support $2,400 increase. Again, if you support it, then write in the comment section, I support $2,400 increase. Now, before we dive deeper, let me just say this. If you're finding this information helpful and I know you are, then smash the like button right now as it really helps the channel and it lets me keep bringing you these crucial updates. Okay, so let's talk strategy. These changes aren't just numbers on the page. They are opportunities to adjust your financial game plan. For higher earners, the increased wage cap might mean looking into ways to reduce your taxable income, whether it's through retirement contributions, charitable donations, or other strategies. And for retirees, knowing the updated earnings tax limits could open the door to new income opportunities without risking your benefits. Now, here is something else to consider. The changes we have discussed today don't happen in a vacuum. Every year, lawmakers are debating Social Security's future, whether it's adjustment to the wage cap, benefit formulas, or even how COLAs are calculated. If you're not paying attention, you're missing out on ways to protect and grow what you have earned. Now, let's circle back to that $4,500 increase I mentioned earlier. It's not just about one change, it's about how these updates stack up over time. 2.5% COLA might seem small, but if inflation stays low and your costs go down, that raise goes a lot further. Add in the higher earning limits, the new wage cap, and smarter financial planning, and you're looking at a real chance to boost your income significantly. But here's the catch. You have to take action and these opportunities won't fall into your lap. You have to know the rules and play the game. And speaking of rules, let me leave you with this. Social security is a lifeline for millions of Americans, but it's also a constantly evolving system. Staying informed and updated isn't just about getting what you're owed. It's about thriving in retirement. Whether it's understanding the latest COLA, maximizing your earning while collecting benefits, or preparing for potential changes down the road, the power is in your hands. So what do you think? Could these changes make a difference in your life? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and don't forget to share this video with anyone who needs to know about these updates. Remember that knowledge is power and together we can make sure everyone gets their fair share. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, please take care and have a nice day.